20 minutes past the hour. You're listening to the Rick and Bubba Show. I be Rick. <laughs> and I'll be Bubba. <laughs> uh, Bubba, have you seen Newsweek magazine has come out with the world's best countries? World's best countries, uh, United States of America, number 11. <laughs> number 11 uh, behind the powerhouses, Finland, Switzerland, Sweden, Australia, Luxembourg, Norway, Canada, <laughs> Netherlands, Japan, and Denmark. Well, Rick, in all fairness, and first off, let me say I'm sorry. I, I haven't had tea cakes in I don't know how long, well, and it good. carried me back to me and my grandmother cooking together. Mm-hmm. Um, and Those are uh, Luverne tea cakes? Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm going to have them with a cup of tea since we're turning back into Great Britain. <laughs> <laughs> now, these didn't come from the chicken shack, did they? Okay. I just mm-hmm. want to be sure. Um, Rick, this uh, when when these lists are done, you always got to look to who did the list, right? And if you look, Sweden and Finland and all that's always on the top of these lists, especially if it's done by a liberal, socialist commie group, because they they're a heavily socialized society. So when they see the things that they do, they go, "Oh, we just love that. Let's give that a high number." I would say that our our move to socialism is what got us as high as eleven. <laughs> yeah, I mean we. <laughs> Quite frankly, we we should be behind France right. uh, by most accounts, and uh, but yeah, you got to look at where that comes from. Now, uh, granted, the, the socialized countries um, have uh, some things that uh, that they can boast about, but the problem is um, it, it does not allow you the innovation and the growth to be excellent. And I say that because Sw- uh, Sweden and uh, Finland and Switzerland and Austria and Luxembourg and Norway. It's actually Australia. Well, wherever. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and all these places, they they do not have the the structure, the freedom, the drive, the capitalism to build to, a mosque. Pr- to, to produce <laughs> the computer chip, right. to split the atom, to land a man on the moon, to break the sound barrier, to discover the airplane. Doesn't exist. To make cat scans, to develop cancer drugs, to develop drugs for age, H- HIV, uh, whatever. You know what they're like? It's almost like they're all a bunch of our hippie children that we keep having to provide for. <laughs> right, right. You know, I, I mean, that, 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 that's really what it's like. I mean, if you, uh, you can have free health care if you want to be taxed at 80%. Uh, now, Which, if, by the way, that makes it not free. If you're going to, yeah, I started to say it's not. It's, it's really just kind of a, boy. Uh, a game for people who are bad. <coughs> Bad at math. Come on. If you're paying taxes, that's just like you're paying for your insurance. Same thing. Right. I mean, if my taxes go up, somebody says, man, at least I ain't paying for health care anymore. And somebody says, well, my taxes were 30%. Now they're 70%. Oh, well, maybe you are, mm-hmm. you know, because it's not free. There's no such thing. Uh, well, and, and two, uh, they, they will quote them, but then there's certain things that they do that they wouldn't dare consider doing here either. So, you know, it's kind of a little shell game. We're going to talk about a few things we like about these socialized countries, but, oh, my goodness, we're not going to mention that because we're different. It's based on health, education, economy, and politics. That's what, That was their criteria. Stephen Colbert uh, from Comedy Central had a blast with it. A couple of, a couple of things from him. <laughs> this week's issue, ranking the world's best country in the world. <laughs> and look where America stands. Number one. One. That's right. Newsweek ranked the United States number 11. We're behind Canada. Really? That country is so lame, their national anthem is, oh, Canada. (laughs) Newsweek. Newsweek would also rather live in Luxembourg, a country that it's so tiny, the rest of Europe thinks it just got out of a pool. <laughs> Here's what really hurt. We're behind Sweden. Sweden. Their fish are made out of candy. <laughs> God knows what their candy is made out of. <laughs> oh, and who's number one, according to Newsweek? Finland. <laughs> are you kidding me? Its coat of arms is a lion stabbing itself in the head <laughs> because it lives in Finland. <laughs> Besides, I read this thing, I read this, and it is based, it is based completely on useless criteria. The criteria is education, quality of life, and health. (laughs) What about the fact that
factors that matter most, like realness of housewives <laughs> and number of states named Wyoming. <laughs> He's funny. But, uh, I mean, obviously, I don't know that we'd get along, but uh, he sure he can be very funny. <laughs> Again, probably on some issues, not out of... Uh, right, but yeah. funny guy. I mean, even when he's making fun of the things I hold dear, he does it in a funny way. <laughs> you know, I, I laugh at him most of the time. Uh, it, uh, but, uh, yeah, when you look at these lists, the, the, when, a, when, a, when a magazine like Newsweek, and as you said, Bub, we know how conservative they can be, um, th- this is all propaganda for what they think America should be. They want us to be more like Switzerland, more like Australia, more like Canada, more like the Netherlands, more like Japan. I'm a little surprised they like Japan because Japan can be quite capitalist. Uh, you, you know? Oh, I know. But let me, well, tell why, let me tell you why they like Japan. Godless. Dark. No, no, you know, not, not, none of that pesky uh, co- religious convictions there. I, I think that's why they probably love Japan so much. They consider that quality of life to live in a godless nation. That's what they would. Yeah, prefer. don't want to be hassled with all that. Yeah. So, uh, so anyway, uh, you, you you can't put a lot of stock in this, but I, I will say this, um, as we said it last hour, there are a lot of things that America is currently embracing and doing that I do find quite embarrassing. So, so may, maybe eleven is about where we are right now. Um, I was trying to look up uh, Finland. Uh, didn't we? Ha- we yeah, had somebody. We, were move to Finland. we had somebody that called one time talking about. Remember, Finland. we were looking for a country to move right. to, and, right. and, and and people started talking Finland, and then we started realizing that it was so socialist that mm-hmm. we probably wouldn't be happy there. But remember, Finland got some pretty good, uh, pretty good. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? References mm-hmm. from people who uh, who had lived there. They, uh, Other than the fact that it's a socialist country. Up on the screen, uh, we have their um, uh, what they ranked education a hundred. They they rank one hundred on education in says, Finland. Yeah. Okay. Ninety point three four in health, a ninety one quality of life. You know what? If, if, we, if we went to the United States and said, "Here's," and we presented which we have our problems with our education. Yes. The, the the very same people who rank us 11 would be horrified at our solution right. to America's education. Well, yeah. they wouldn't want it. Right. Let's see what we did here. I uh, mean, they want to complain about the things you're doing poorly, but then when you say this is why we're doing this poorly, we can fix it. they act like that you're some kind of horrible person. What, what, did, uh, what did we get? What did uh, the U.S. get? We, got, uh, we averaged mid-80s uh, on just about everything. Let's see, 89 education, 85 health. They're giving us an 85 on health? Uh-huh. The United States of America? Yeah. Quality see, of life, 88. If uh, we didn't have uh, our 80-something in health, Finland wouldn't have theirs See, the, because they rely on our discoveries and our technologies. Right. 77 on economy. Well, I, you know what? That's kind of high. 86 the on political state. environment. What? what was a- that? An 86 on political environment. Yeah, well, again, this is all who's grading. Right. You're talking about the curve. Wow. Right. Well, Bubba, mm-hmm. any, any, any list that's going to rank – Canada ahead of us. No offense to my Canadian brothers and sisters. Well, uh, I, I, would you really rather live in Canada? Than well, here? like in Finland, okay, and I'm sure Finland. Ha- I'm not saying it's a bad place to live, but uh, they're heavy, heavy into public transportation and bicycles. Not a lot of cars. So if I'm a Leo, I give it. That's well, I love works. that. Let me have. A, well, to me, I like getting in my car, and listen to the radio, and letting her eat down the interstate. So I give it a zero for right, Finland. Right. You know, well, the problem it's is all who's given the grade. The problem with some of these countries, and America is 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 on this same road. We love cars here, but but I look at these countries. There's very few of these countries that I see uh, the opportunity for greatness. Well, that's where, where, where the individual can maximize his or her freedom uh, to to maximize a, a great himself. mind who wants to go out and work and discover heart and cancer drugs and all that does not want to. Uh, do that, work, sacrifice, and then have 80% of his income taken. We have 15.4 years. That's our average years of schooling, 15.4. Finland, 17.1. <laughs> I won't say. I give them a zero for staying in school too long. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Gaga, and, yep. and, and I know some of this. Are, her songs are very bad, but if, if – if one of them, not Alejandro, Rick. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, if Come one on, of them, we can, we can find something that's playable. Yeah, a paparazzi. That's a good idea. Paparazzi. If, if it works, I just don't, I don't or know. P- p- poker face. Yeah, well, that, that's a pretty <laughs> that one. That's, that's, a, a, that's a pretty. Well, nice I'm just saying, not the whole. We're not going to play the whole song. <laughs> right, right. Just a little clip. Right, clip. Right.
Yeah, paparazzi probably goes better with the yeah. her, the name. Don't check. Because other ones like bad bad romance, and, uh, telephone. Well, you know that was pretty popular though with that oh ha ha. Yeah, we can put that in there. How did it go? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see how annoying I can be. We'll be back. It's bottom of the hour. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.